We're back with Matt Atchity from RottenTomatoes.com, which is the best online source for TV and movie reviews, but that site is way more than just reviews, right? Yeah, we have a lot more. We do interviews with the stars, we have our own podcast. Uh, you know, it's President's Day, we get a list of the best movie presidents of all time. It's a great list. Essential viewing. <laughs> all right, so today we're gonna talk about some DC TV. Let's start it off with some Gotham. We're gonna see a mystery that involves the Flying Graysons and a ah, circus yes, that Detective famous. Gordon goes to. They appeared in Detective Comics number 38 in 1940, and their son, who was also an acrobat with them, is Dick Grayson, the first Robin. But Bruce is still a little kid, and so this is a little bit early for his sidekick to start showing up. Right, we're seeing Dick's parents get in this show before they've gotten married, before they've had him, very, very early. I think Gotham works best when it's sticking to a lot of its crime stories. Sometimes when they get a little bit too in-universe, I've seen the critics on Rotten Tomatoes revolt a little bit. For instance, Scarecrow, the critics weren't particularly happy with, but for the most part, they've liked most of these. I think that this one, as early as it is and the story they're gonna tell is probably gonna be interesting. I'll tell you what I'm most interested in is okay. the continuing saga of Fish Mooney. You know, Fish we saw kind of in this prison. She made a big power play last week. I think she's gonna keep clawing her way to the top. I love watching her in this show. Let's talk straight. Those people out there are using us as transplant donors. We are simply spare parts. Unless, unless we do something about it. Oh! I have a plan, but you must do exactly what I say. You do as I say, and I promise you, I will get some of us out of here alive. That's right. No, you heard me correctly. I said, some of us. Because the truth of the matter is, some will die. But we will die with dignity. We will die for a reason, and we will die next to family. And I tell you what, we are family. We are all we got. That's family. We have one simple choice. We die here alone on our knees, or we stand up and we fight with our family. All right, so on Tuesday night, there's the Flash episode called Fallout, which is pretty appropriate since Firestorm basically just blew up at the end of the last episode. Right, I mean, he's the nuclear man, yeah. there's nuclear fallout. Yeah, because in the comic books, they are split apart, but then they use the Firestorm Matrix. They choose to become Firestorm again with all his abilities and all his transmutating powers. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. Martin and Ronnie are still learning how to use their powers. Uh, I, I think that there's a lot more drama in that character. Clearly, they're not out of the woods. I think there's a lot of danger for, for the Flash really everybody around. So Firestorm is literally probably a ticking time bomb for the show. Yeah, literally a ticking time bomb. Uh, the show is pretty popular with the critics though. This first season is certified fresh right out of the gate. Uh, they think that it's gonna be something we see for a long time. Well, let's also talk about on Wednesday we have Arrow and this is called The Return. And it's because it's the return of Slade Wilson Deathstroke. Deathstroke's coming back. We, you know, we've seen him before, we know him, we love him. It's always great to see Deathstroke. I, he's one of my favorite, I don't know if you call him a villain, you call him a hero. Mm -hmm. Like he's all over the place in the comics, right? Yeah, but he's still locked up on the island. Do you think he'll actually have a, like a prominent role in this episode or will he be like manipulating from the shadows? You know, it's tough to tell with Deathstroke. I, I think he's a little bit more interesting in the show when he's manipulating from the shadows. I think at some point we will see more of him, but I'm not sure it's gonna be this episode. And the rumors also say that Tommy is maybe gonna be in this episode as well. Yeah, that's what I hear. All right, so the bad apple last week was Pop at Midnight and he actually tried to kill Constantine, so you made a really good pick on that one. <laughs> Who's the bad apple of this week? Bad apple this week, I gotta go with Fish Mooney. Beautiful apple, but bad nonetheless. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, we've had a little bit of a fall from Grace from her, she's taking her punches, but she's making her power play in the prison that she's at. We're still not sure where she is but she's ramping up her intensity. Uh, I don't think that we can expect Fish to stay down for long. After watching these episodes, be sure to go to DCComics.com to find hashtag DCTV secrets about The Flash, Arrow, and Gotham. <laughs>